Okay, so on to question nine. What is O2 and O3? Okay, so let's first talk about O2. So it is two oxygens double bonded together. And I also showed the lone pairs on the oxygen atoms. And O2 is what is found in our atmosphere. We also need it to breathe, so it is very much needed for human and animal life on Earth. O3, on the other hand, is also known as ozone. So its structure is shown here. Its structure has three oxygens. So one is negatively charged. This one will be positively charged. So this is an ozone molecule. And it is less stable than just O2 gas. Okay, so the junior tutor said oxygen gas is the natural form of the oxygen element. It means that in a standard setting, the oxygen will be in the form of gas. It is the air that is needed by animals to breathe, and it comprises about 21% of the Earth's atmosphere. Under certain circumstances, oxygen can be in the form of O3, wherein three oxygen atoms are covalently bonded to each other. This form of oxygen is highly unstable and only exists in specific conditions. Ozone is the one protecting the living creatures on the Earth from ultraviolet rays. Yep, so this solution is correct. Okay, so moving on to question number 10. 